So I set aside a little time last night and a couple days earlier to work on rebuilding the profile picture code in the Ormbor 2 that would allow me to do shout outs that'll basically show the profile pic. So for example, if I do a shout out of a particular user like Pokimane, for example, we could actually see not only the information about Pokimane, but we could actually see a, a profile picture for that person. So using the shout out command is pretty cool because no matter who we do it for, uh, we could do Kiara Kitty if we want. It always goes and it gets the profile picture of that particular user. Now there is a timing thing. I think I have to wait like five or seven seconds before I can do it again. But once enough time has gone by, I can go on to the next person. And as you can see, it goes and it finds the profile picture of any person who is a Twitch streamer. And if you pick somebody that's not a Twitch streamer, then I think it just, I think it does nothing. Let me see if I put like three Y's on the end of Kiara Kitty. I think it's, it might just show nothing. Yeah, you okay, user not found, that's good. I put in some code to handle the case uh, whether the, there was a real user or not. So that's good, otherwise it would end up you know showing like a, a, a dummy picture or it would just crash the code. So now I've got that handled and what I started developing in StreamerBot before I crashed was a way to not only get the profile picture of the uh, person, but also to show a random clip from that person. And so I used to have a different command for that, but now I've made it much simpler. I've just called it shout. So now if I do a shout command instead of a shout out, I not only get the profile picture of the person, but I also get a clip. So notice how when I do Pokimane, I says I'm doing a <laughs> clip yeah, like, shout out. So, oops. I've accidentally got it twice. Like, I'll have to weird. figure out yeah. why. Way too much Let's came see. Out. Uh, okay, so that was a very short clip. But that's the idea, right? In addition to the profile pic, you get the... Uh, random clip of something that that streamer had clipped some recently like in the last 30 days or 60 days something like that so it's very powerful and i really missed that code because it was kind of an essential piece um i actually use leoran board one in combination with leoran board two when i do the simple shout out with the, just the profile picture and i use leoran board one in combination with streamer bot when i do the clipped uh, shout the clip shout out. If you do a shout out command and you don't specify any target, if you just do shout out by itself, I have it go ahead and call my random shout out spinner. So I had created a spinner, which is a collection of like 20 or so of my favorite streamers. And that used to be a different command where it would spin the spinner and pick a random person to shout out to. But now I have it set up to where when you type shout out with no username, it'll say, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and spin the spinner and pick one of those random people to do a shout out to. So this is Kat Conti. She's a streamer that I used to watch, I still do watch uh, from time to time, plays PUBG. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I thought, you know, when, when somebody says shout out with nothing, I could just spit out the usage and say, oh, you're supposed to do exclamation point SO space Twitch name. And that would be one way of showing people how the shout out command works. But I thought, oh, rather than do that, why don't I show them how an actual shout out command works? And so we pick a random person and it'll do a shout out on that person. Next is the kind of shout out that just does the profile picture only. It's kind of like the simple version of the shout out. When you want something just quick and easy, exclamation point SO is what you want. Now, when you want the fancier version of shout out, the one that I really like, then we use the one that I built with the streamer bot. And that is the shout command. So you can do shout, just like we did the profile pic for Zoomy. Let's do a shout command on Zoomy and that will include a clip. So it'll show her profile picture and then it shows a clip. Sometimes they have audio, sometimes they don't. Oh, there they go, yeah. So she's just laughing. You can't hear too much, but she is laughing. I also made it a random spinner if you type shout with no target specified. If you try to do a shout, to some, but you don't specify anybody, it'll randomly pick somebody. And once again, I have a list of about 20 or 25. And in this case, uh, now there was something weird about Murda. Murda is a guy in my local area that does racing. He does like drag racing and he works on cars and stuff. But for some reason, whenever it tries to do, oh, there it goes. Now it's working. Okay, okay, it's working.
interesting drag race. That looked like a SUV against a regular racing kind of car. I don't think that guy had much of a chance. What if I use the same trigger for both buttons and I'll just set the timing on the Leoran Board 2 button to kind of be about in sync with the other button? And that's exactly what I did. So you'll notice if I look at the trigger for this button, if I say edit the trigger, you'll notice that the trigger is exclamation point SO space star. And what that means is it wants the command exclamation point SO space and then something, some value. And it's gonna need that value inside the code, which I'm about to show. So if we go inside the code for this button, if I say edit the commands, this is gonna look a little busy, but it's not really too bad. And basically what this does is when this button is executed, it gets two values. It does a trigger pull, so it knows who's the one that triggered this button. It catches the name, like if I trigger the button, it catches my name. If Sassy triggers the button, it catches his and so forth. And then it says, who's the target of this command? And that is the pull wildcard command. So the second line is Twitch target. And so now that I've saved this deck, now if I do the shout out command again, and let's just pick anybody, it should echo out the names of the person who did it and the person who we're targeting. So notice in the, in the, in the code or in the, in the chat that we now, it now says trigger is me and target is Goldana 22 because I turned those two lines on. So the one that says Twitch get user info. So this is a command that's designed to get a whole stack of information and put it into the variable user info. So user info is like an array, has a whole bunch of stuff about the user. And then down inside the array, you have to go get the profile picture image URL. So you can see we're gonna use Dot use, we're gonna use user info, the variable, but then after that, you have to put dot profile image URL to get that URL link. So down here at the bottom right, there's this more command, and you can use what's called the variable viewer. So after I pulled all that stuff into user info, it might be useful to look inside of user info and see what all is there. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. So when I pulled the user info, uh, I can see the target uh, as Goldana22, and inside the user info attribute for Goldana22, there's a whole bunch of stuff. You can see the description that she created, you can see her display name, her username, her Twitch ID, and there are the URLs that are so important for us to be able to use. These URLs point to the profile picture. So you're able to pull out that data once you have gotten the user info attribute. So whenever you're coding in Leorenbor 2, definitely use that variable viewer at the bottom right. It's very